what is going on guys this is Miasin and this is going to be I was gonna say flunderies oh my god not even close evil twin testing video this deck is going to be tier one I'm promising you right now it will be tier one it's very consistent one card combos left and right it can actually play through hand shops uh, which is shocking I know huh? and it can play hand shops as you can clearly tell by my deck profile which by the way I uploaded yesterday so go check it out but before we go into any of all those beautiful things that I'm gonna show you right now make sure you like and subscribe motivates me so much to keep making videos like these and now let's jump right into it so uh, one card starter life twin entrance I wish I had the continuous spell to search instead would have been a, le a bit less neggy but my opponent didn't have a way to stop me so it's all good in the hood uh, shout outs to Dragoon oh my god the engine never breaks bro like you're just bad out of the game yeah <laughs> that's what people tell me when i say that the engine is breaky but they don't listen anyways i'm passing with oh lmao don't kill me imagine drawing the bureau for turn with like dark magician and red eyes but yeah uh, draw one pop and uh, the, the, yeah his only play em is emergency which i don't have the ash for but i do have the veiler for the core which is happy land and yeah forbidden chalice is kind of unnecessary uh, overflow element. I mean, that was kind of that. That also, you didn't have to go for the uh, El Mirage here. It really doesn't give you anything because the overflow can also banish from the field. But yeah, uh, draw one, and I'm just popping off right now. I'm actually just doing mad plays. Actually, insane. Am I locked under fiend? I am locked under fiend, so I can't really go for the access code. I overcommitted for no reason, but I have like a <laughs> really fat booty Nibiru so like my opponent is going to just pass here uh, he actually could have said the forbidden job but I think he was probably done and yeah putting Nibiru in defense when you have an 8400 attack I can literally just normal summon skull maestro and kill you but yeah uh, nice 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 let's get into the next one okay so I'm going second against an extremely cool deck I really like this it's such a nice deck Dragoonity and you're going to see that uh yeah, this deck is no joke. It really is. So yeah, Dragoonity Remus, and then make a Gaydurg. I was like, yeah, what should I Skull Maestro? Yeah, okay, I, ha I have to Skull Maestro. That otherwise you just make Crystal Wing and I die. But it it, it doesn't change anything. Just, just look at this, man. Just look at how... Oh my god. It, in a way, this was really inspiring. It, it really was. But yeah, it's like Romulus in that deck, in the drag in the heavy Dragoonity deck, is so good because you don't just search Ravine and that's it, that's all. Because yeah, one Ravine is good, but three Ravines, like in your hands, kind of like not really necessary anymore. But searching cards like Glow so you can abuse Gatorg again, yeah, sign me in. I'm kinda down. And yeah, the deck has an built-in LP, so the LP ban didn't really affect it too much. Honestly, if you want to play a combo-oriented version of Dragon Link, I think Dragonity might be the way to go. This guy at least convinced me, so yeah, huge shoutouts to this guy. And he also played very well, by the way. You're going to see that we actually had a match, but yeah. Quad Boral on himself, on himself, sorry. And yeah, I mean, he, he has like the nuts, man. He even has Valor on top of everything. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, draw quick launch, happy land, Boral Savage in the wrong column, but it doesn't matter. Uh, set tidying, I'm screwed. I'm gonna go activate, please negate, he doesn't, I'm like, shit. He has like five interruptions, seal, hot red, savage, tidying, Valor, like seriously. I'm not winning anytime soon, come on. Yeah, summon Brotor, gonna search the Levineer, so I'm... 1 billion percent die next turn and I'm like yeah my hand's not good anyway so yeah very very overkill but let's get into the next one okay so I'm going first and I technically have a hand to play around a hand shop well because of the quick play but he didn't have one anyways but it, it really wouldn't have changed anything whatsoever uh, so yeah I just uh, do my play I'm gonna draw one card uh, it's gonna be a chalice which is good but not great I'm gonna set one and pass and he's going to go remis and then search the ravine can't really interact with that but I'm gonna draw the ash I'm not trying to ash a ravine though I'd rather keep it for something else but the thing is since he used the effect to add I kind of had to otherwise he would go le legatus and then pop my uh, back row so it's just way too good a uh, value for him and yeah, yeah the boot sector launch if it if he actually resolved to search the boot sector launch i would have been completely dead because it would have uh, summoned two monsters from the hand so yeah i really had to negate that striker dragon like absolutely ghost bell on the pisty because unfortunately i'm giving him his own and i'm trying to keep this on the field as much as i possibly can uh, nicely played uh, crashing the brotor but it doesn't achieve anything also doesn't have any light attributes in the grave so the only thing that he can do is just make me lose a card make hieratic seal and phase i'm gonna be like yeah the, the game's over here 
here. Draw one, pop one, and the yeah, in the, the just what what can I say, man? The deck just has such a good grind game. It's ridiculous. Transco Talker, Chain Link one, Parallel Exceed. Well, it's not like there was a Chain Link two or anything, and um. Yeah, I mean, this is just so overkill. <laughs> I obviously have game, and uh, yeah, he surrendered. Not bad, not bad. Let's get into the next one. Okay, yo, what the frick is this ritual monster? I just realized. <laughs> Borlord Riot Dragon. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, sure. I mean, it actually looks kind of nice, but uh, I, I remember reading its effect and be like, yeah, it's cool, but I don't know. I, I feel like it's kind of a win more when you're playing combo. You want cards that are consistent, that don't require you to, like draw the nuts consistently but his hand was the nuts anyway so it actually doesn't matter i think he's gonna mill a chaos space and then yeah and then yeah get a veiler and then probably draw like an ash off of it uh, since he's good at the game yeah chaos space draw ash chaos space draw ash chaos space draw a oh, merry christmas <laughs> oh, my story of my life man get the veiler draw the ash Legit Merry Christmas. This is a tidying anyways, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if he wasn't locked under dark, he would have made a Hieratic Seal, but he kind of was locked under dark, except if he wasn't, but I'm pretty sure he was. But yeah, uh, I died. Let's get into the next one. Ah, yeah, the, the, it's, it's actually cute. Oh, it was like E-E-E. -E -E. Yeah, well, not not E-E-E, -E -E, but E-E. Hee-hee-hee. Uh, but yeah, uh, Veiler on the Solid Soldier, uh, you're kind of screwed, actually. That I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I feel like, yeah, you kind of... Could have done more no yeah that's the thing man unless you have like ferris you can play with like through valor but otherwise it's pretty bait uh, monster reborn to revive back my valor also wouldn't have done anything like needle fiber does nothing in this deck but um yeah surrendered yeah it's access code uh, can attack twice and pop this so game over let's get into the next one yo flunderies is low-key such a good matchup because i'm playing chalice valor imper well obviously i'm playing valor and imperm but chalice is nasty if i go first i want to say it's guaranteed that i win the game not gonna lie uh, I wouldn't be playing Phantasm in this deck. Oh, I definitely wouldn't be playing Harpy's Feather Storm. It's not an actual hand shop in this deck. And this is City of Dreams. Okay, sure. He, also, he already has the Robina and he's drawing the field spell for turn. Pretty good, but not enough. And I'm obviously not trying to Ash a duality. I'm not that stupid. I mean, like, I am stupid, but not that stupid. Cosmic Cyclone on the field spell changes everything. And this is... Kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to play Ghost Ogre was to hit the Flunderese field spell because I know that the deck is going to see a lot of play. And yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter if you have Phantasmate to negate. I really don't care. Uh, you're going to die and that's it. That's all. Let's get into the next one. Ah, I'm playing against someone whose name is Archlord Christia, which is kind of funny. Valor, get Herald of Orange. I was like, bro, flashbacks to freaking Drytron. I'm like, ah, this Valor looks like it could be good against you. Mmm, haha, <laughs> Valor? Please don't have Call by the Grave. Uh, I don't have Call by the Grave. Uh, Herald of Orange Light? Shit! <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, Venus is very nice, by the way. Really, really good card. L look at this, man. This card right here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sir, sir, okay, Christia. And he's banishing cards from his own grave. So he has exactly four fairies. Summons Christia. And now I'm dead. Like, my only win condition is drawing Imperm or Chalice. But I never do because I'm not good at the game. Let's get into the next one. Going first, on the other hand, is a different story. So he goes green light, I go, okay, it's fine, I have my starter anyways, special, and then uh, proceeds to full combo. So in other words, I'm actually playing life twin hand loop, which is really nice. So my opponent hand looped himself for two, and uh, I, uh, I'm going like plus 65 in the process. Green light, not a good, I mean, I wouldn't even play green light, I just play orange light and orange, hor hor orange light. <laughs> Orange light. Um, I can I, I can ghost bell this even though his intention was to summon from the hand. It's so cute. Like it, it was so obvious that he was trying to summon a Venus from the hand. And um, this side, by the way, if it gets popped during the opponent's turn, it doesn't trigger. It's only on okay on the opponent's turn. Um, if I have scythe and my opponent. Oh, you 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 know how to read, okay? Just just read the card. But yeah, transcode, blah blah blah. He's gonna die. Merry Christmas in four three. Two, one, two, one, uh, two, one, yeah! Let's get into the next one. Ah, 
Ah, Herald of Orange Light again! Oh, it doesn't bother me at all! And by the way, I have Valor instead of having uh, Ash instead of having Valor. So I'm like, hmm, should I Ash Venus and make him lose 500 life points extra to do the exact same combo? Of course not! You don't, you don't Ash a Venus. It's Almost as stupid as ashing a danger effect in hand, like revealed Tsuchinoko, mm, thinking, I'll ash it. <laughs> okay, mm, thinking, uh, revealed Tsuchinoko, mm, ah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, top deck Valor instead of Imperm, LMAO, and uh, yeah, it's pretty pathetic, I'm not doing well, top deck Eva again, <laughs> Ah, oh, you love to see it. I actually want to kill myself. <laughs> I actually considered going like normal summon Skullmeister and then attack over the Venus. Uh, it, yeah, it wouldn't have changed anything, but who cares? And yeah, if I top deck, well, whatever I top deck, I lose because even if it's Chalice, I can't use this because since I'm stupid, I I, I actually set the Cosmic Cyclone instead of keeping it in my hand. But I misplayed. I actually should have kept the Cosmic Cyclone in my hand. It's my fault. Let's get into the next one. Bernard is... Eldritch a good matchup? Well, absolutely freaking lootly Bernard. Everything and their mother is a good matchup. Look at this, man. My opponent can have the nuts, and it doesn't matter. A hand shop like Zombie World, Scarlet, who cares, bro? It's all good in the hood. And if you were thinking, mm, could you uh, fit in uh, evil live twin cards in Eldritch? I actually don't recommend it. I don't think it makes too much sense, but you kind of can. It's just not smart. I'd rather play hand shops as the utility cards for life twin. Otherwise, you're just kind of have going to have some nightmares going second. But uh, yeah, Eldritch is very much going to get negated. Otherwise, it's just going to jump over this. And now during the end phase, I can actually pop one card and draw one card, which is very, very good. Uh, this is exactly what I'm going to do right now. And now he also has to rely on having... Uh, actually, regardless of what he has, because I know that this is an Elixir of White Destiny. So I was like, yeah, even if you have Scarlet Sanguine, I can just bell it. And now you have like a Ghost a Conquistador that literally doesn't do anything at all. And he's just going to die, if I recall correctly, which is great. I love killing my opponents. Uh, words taken out of context. So yeah, pop, pop, uh, skitty, beep, pop, boom, boom. Uh, that's not how the song goes. And oh, look at this, man. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, Leela, revive back, kissy, ki no. Uh, yeah, okay, kissy, kill, and then revive back. Yeah, exactly. 8,300 damage. Merry Christmas, bro. Okay, so uh, yeah, I mean, th this is like an, in an alternate dimension in which I would not, uh, I don't really know how to say it. Not side, even though it's a game two. It, 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 trust me. There's obviously no way I'm winning if my opponent has the nuts. And he has Judgment and Wakanda Forever. So it's technically two negates, but I can't really play through them if I recall correctly. Because uh, I did not side. And yeah, I mean, I have Imperm, but it literally doesn't matter. So yeah, re <laughs> a special, blah, 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 and then make Kisi kill, which is obviously going to eat the Judgment. And then uh, all I can do is set Imperm Pass. He has a trap in the grave anyways. Uh, sorry, a spell, uh, which is even better. And top of the trap and has prosperity. Not bad, not bad. So yeah, he's going to get Conquistador and Aquero and then Proud of Prosperity. Probably excavate a Judgment because I'm not good at the game, but he is. And uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you can already see. Uh, he actually should have brought... No, actually, yeah. I was, I was going to say, like, yeah, the, Conqu the Crystal Land made more sense, but absolutely not. Judgment was clearly the way to go and i am dead ah bootleg altergeist but i mean if if it opens well it opens well and that's that's it that's all if he went first and made link Rebo, i would have skull maestered it which is kind of like an ash and then he would have had three kind of garbage cards that don't really do anything and a conquery which literally doesn't do anything so i should have been able to full combo i actually definitely should have been able to uh, actually, I definitely shouldn't because I had no pushes through Fiendish Chain. Imagine complaining about getting hit by Phoenix Chain, Fiendish Chain in uh, 2021. Oh yeah, we're in 2021. That's for I actually forgot. But yeah, uh, <laughs> draw one, pop one, blah blah blah. I, just, I have just I have just too much money, man. Too, way too much money. Grave Digger's hole, no problem. I actually have no problem. Yeah, he's just yo, he's going like neck five and not even committing anything. Look at this, man. Attack, attack. 
yeah, he's already down to two cards, and I'm just not even losing anything. Draw one, <laughs> and then make the link four. I still have Chalice, I don't even have to set it. Extravagance, Ash, but he, have, he has Gravedigger, obviously. Obviously, and I can't negate this. So he's going to draw two, but it doesn't matter. Fake her best top deck, but not enough, because I have freaking Valor, Bernard. And he's just going to die, if I recall correctly, because his hand... Is, uh, is not good. <laughs> not good enough, not good enough. But yeah. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You should die in a proxy. Yeah, okay, yeah, now. Imagine citing kaijus when you're going first. X D lol. But yeah, uh, Marionetta with multi-figure, that's a pretty good combo, especially, especially with Imperm. Imagine if I went first, oof. Imperm, Resolution Faker, I will, uh, I shall uh, choose to uninstall my life. But yeah, oh, this protocol is so annoying. I was like, oh yeah, I can easily just chalice the multi-faker, but no, I can't ash, I can't do anything. It's so annoying, like I have two ways to answer it and I can't use any of them. Skullmeister is just not doing jack because his opening was Marionetter into protocol and not freaking Milusik. So obviously I die because he hard drew the multi- Because I'm not good like him, I need to be good! And when I can <laughs> Skullmeister the Milusik, it doesn't change anything because my opponent has freaking 5 back row and a negate and a kaiju for no reason, but uh, yeah, I'm dead. Flunderies is actually the buy. It, well, I mean, if, if you get to play the game. Uh, he negated my continuous spell and then I'm just going like, okay, <laughs> quick play, summon from deck and then proceed to pop off. So yeah, even if I got hatchapped correctly on the actual normal summon, I still would have done the exact same thing. Quick play, summon the, the other monster and pop off. And now at the link 4, I have Valor to negate the only extender that the opponent has. <laughs> Ostrich doesn't really do jack here. Uh, by the way, I'm really stupid and I, I don't know why he tagged out here. I was like, oh, is that like an extra tribute? Of course not. It's just a reveal too, so I'm like, oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, definitely should have held that pop for later, but it's not like that cross out designator scared me anyways, like, oh, big deal, bro. And yeah, I'm just gonna send it to the grave, draw, yeah, revive, and then draw one card, and then make the rank 4, and then attack for 23. It's gonna get banished. I don't even have to set that Forbidden Chalice. I don't want to lose to, like, Lightning Storm Duster or bullshit like that for no reason. Uh, Rabina is going to get very much chaliced, very, very, very much. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're recycling back Ostrich because you have no more extenders. And I used Chalice and not Veiler, so the Tactic Talents is not a way, not the way to go right here. And, yeah, it's, this card does not matter because I'm just gonna pop it anyway. So, Mysterious Map does absolutely jack shit here. I'm just gonna pop it and draw one, and he's going to surrender. There we go, the final replay. Ghost Ogre really being nice against the field spell. You're going to see, my guy. But yeah, uh, whatever, I'm just gonna, oh yeah, I mean, yeah okay, I should've, I should actually definitely should've held it on, uh, what's his face, the field spell. So I definitely messed up, but uh, it could've been worse. A uh, Gold Sark banish Rabina pass, that's usually not a good move. Uh, so yeah, okay, I wanna say Skullmeister for next format, don't play it for this format, sure. It's not like this deck existed this format anyways, but uh, when I play online, I also play against decks that are currently exist, so my testing isn't even like perfect. Oh, top deck Ash, I actually feel so bad for the guy. That's so freaking bad. Toucan, Eaglin, garbage because... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> make you chal <laughs> eat the chalice again, and this field spell never will resolve. I'm always gonna go like pop, 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 and yeah. No, oh, this deck loses really hard to Necro Valley, though. Yeah, 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 that's actually kind of scary, but whatever. All right, uh, ch chalice that, and then, uh, ch uh, yeah, I lose 100. But I don't give a shit because I can just revive the monster literally right after. So that wasn't really too productive. And yeah, Link 4, I'll have enough for game because I can tag out during the battle phase. Loses to Gamma, but who cares? People don't play Gamma and Flunderies, it's really stupid. I misclicked here, by the way, it was a misclick. It wasn't intentional. I actually thought I was, um, I, I don't even know. I was like, I want to attack and then I actually click on Minfis 2. I'm like, no, 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 that was not the way to go. But it, it doesn't matter, man. This deck is so good that you can misclick 
misplay and be stupid, have an IQ of negative infinite, and still win because it does the entire job for you. It's actually that good. My opponent can't even tribute summon. That's just showing you how ridiculously insane this is. Like, Ostrich, no! Ghost Bell, Flunderies is the buy and a half. I'm actually telling you. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, video, actually, as a whole. Really hope you guys were able to enjoy and learn a thing or two. If you did, make sure you leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. That would seriously motivate me a lot to keep making videos like these, and I'll see you next time. Peace.